Hello, and you know what? I'm so glad to report that it's getting a little bit busier out there doing food delivery. And I wanted to share a couple things that I found by doing food delivery today. The first, have you had a triple stack on Uber Eats yet? Well, I got an order from Denny's headed from one town to another, and then right away I got an add-on, and it was two package deliveries. I only thought it was one, but I accepted it immediately because it was like almost $25. And I said, yeah, I'll take it. And then when I actually got in there and I looked, it was two pickups from Bonds. So I got some more information on those package deliveries as well. But share with me, have you done a triple delivery with Uber Eats? How do you find that? For me personally, I was picking up from Denny's and it's a little warm here in California. You know, I'm in the shade. Oh, excuse me, I've got my uh, body cam going here. Let's turn that off. Just got off a of delivery, forgot about that. So, where was I? Oh yes, it's been warm here in Southern California, and so I wasn't worried about the food getting cold because I do put it in a hot bag, and the car's warm. So I still was rather quick when I got to Vaughn's to pick up those two package deliveries. And guess what? Just like before, I got that paperwork and one customer tipped $3.90, the other tipped $5. And I could see that well in advance. So check out that previous video that I made where I share that Uber hides tips over $8. You might find it very insightful. So here's further proof of that. This Vaughn's was a little bit different on the pickup I, uh, in other Vons I've gone and they already have the, the groceries in a cart. This time I was prepared. I just went in, I didn't bring a cart. And this time I was off in a room to the side where all those uh, workers are out there packaging up the groceries for their own delivery service out in front of the store. Anyway, I just asked, hey, how's it going? He said that I would need to bring a cart. So I did, I brought two, because you know, I like doing Instacart, two orders front to back. Anyway. He ended up putting both orders in the cart at the same time and I didn't realize it. So it took a little bit for me to sort them afterwards, but that's okay. I asked him, what percentage of business do you estimate it is for the delivery service with the workers packaging up the groceries in advance versus most customers coming in the store to shop? And, you know, take it for what it's worth. He said maybe 10%. So we had a little bit back and forth chit chat and sharing well, maybe it'll grow because that seems to be the future. A lot of people are busy and they want the delivery services to their home so that they could be freed up to do other more important or different things. So I headed out of the store and I'm thankful that I was able to drop that Denny's off first. I can imagine customers may be upset if we have all these double and triple orders from Uber Eats. Hopefully their food won't get cold. In this case, I was pleasantly surprised to see that the food was still really warm because I could feel the heat emanating off of it. So I set it down, took a picture, rang the doorbell, and headed off for the first grocery drop-off. I was happy that grocery drop-off went smoothly, and the gentleman came out and I waved and said thanks a lot as I was headed to the next one. And for that drop-off, I always like sending my text message saying, hi, I'm Russ, you know, basically uh, be ready for me and rate my service. Well, the lady had come out front to meet me, and so I handed off the groceries to her and she took them inside. Overall, that trip was a total of $32, and it didn't take me that long. Obviously, I was going, I don't know, guessing say 15, max 20 miles. But again, I've been learning my lesson. When it's slow, I need to reduce my criteria and not be so stringent. So today was a good example of that. And I'm very happy because I've, I've made about $80 so far. And that brings up my last point. Wouldn't you be surprised? Here in California, we get Prop 22. Well, last week, Instacart shut down. It just happened right during an order and it was very frustrating. So from about two o'clock on, I couldn't have the opportunity to get any more orders. I was on hold with voice and chat multiple times through the evening until about eight or nine at night. And it would be like an hour wait, two hours wait. Then it would drop the call, drop the chat. It was very frustrating. So by the time I actually got uh, a hold of the agent, I asked, hey, is this happening everywhere? He said, yes. And I said, thank you for helping me out. That way he can get on and help other people. 
So, wouldn't you be amazed like I was when I got on my app, the Prop 22 additional pay was $75. <laughs> That's a lot of money. I'm not going to say I deserve it. I don't. I didn't expect that at all. I wouldn't be surprised if they try to take it back. But if Instacart's down, that is a huge inconvenience and it's going to cost that company a lot of money. So maybe it, maybe it was valuable for them to give us some money through Prop 22. But I think it was more a legal requirement because of the state of California, not by Instacart's choice. But anyway, Instacart, thank you. I do appreciate that because I was not able to have the opportunity to make more money on your app after two o'clock on that day. Please share in the comments below, how has it been for you? Have, have the orders started to pick up? You know, it's almost mid-February. I'm hoping that things turn around soon because I really want to make more money. And I'm grateful that I had those triple batch order off of Uber Eats today and then a few others out there. So you may notice I'm in a park. Well, guess what's behind me? That's right. The subject of the next video that I'm going to put up here for you to consider. Do you realize what a challenge it is for rideshare especially and food delivery drivers to use the restroom when you need to? So do check that out and I always encourage you go to a park as much as possible. It's good to walk around and take that much needed break. All right everybody I'll see you in my next video. Take care.